Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to episode 16 of Civilization 5. We are playing as Venice on the One City Challenge. Things are going quite well. We actually have a bit of a monster of a city. Uh, we're currently working towards the International Games. It's currently 64% completed and we've put in 613 production. We need 720 or more to get the silver, which will give us plus 3 happiness, which isn't all that great, but it will give us a one-time increase of 30 influence with city-states. Ideally, we would like to get the gold if it's possible because we'd like to increase our tourism by 100% for 20 turns and get the free social policy. It's very unlikely we're going to be able to get that. Mainly the reason I want to get it is because I don't want Greece to get it but what can you do? We're going to try anyway. I'm not going to stop putting uh, production in until it ends. We'll see how close we can get. We have now got a few people have all adopted the same ideology as ourselves, although they're in a pretty bad position at the moment because Greece has a lot of tourism output, a lot of influence with the different uh, nations. And as a result, everyone else is getting dissidents. I've got the happiness to tank it out, but I'm not necessarily sure that all of the other civilizations have. So, Sweden wants to carry on buying my spices. Do I have the spices to spare? Yes, I do. So, let's carry on with that. I have no problem in doing that at all new research agreement between morocco um order yes we know your order and you're getting major unhappiness from it but maybe things will start to flick over as we're getting more and more people adopting the same ideology as ourselves we'll actually have a quick look at that in a minute and see if it started to uh, tip the balance in the other direction although it hadn't the last time i had a look A lot of city-state missions popping up now. That's fine. So, what we are going to do is we are going to put you in here. And we are going to conduct a trade mission. 60 influence and 1,800 gold. Very nice. Uh, we've purchased our great engineer. You are going to stay there until the International Games is finished. And then we're going to use you to rush finish uh, Christo Redentor. You guys are just going to go on to alert now. You've done all that you can. Um, we do have quite a lot of gold. Is there anything worth buying at this point? Buildings wise, no. However, having a battleship or two might not be a bad idea. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a battleship or two. I think at the moment we are still allied with all of the city-states that we have discovered. That is absolutely fine. Let's go on to the next turn. We do still have a couple of boats that are out sailing the seas trying to uh, discover all of the remaining city-states. I'm not controlling them manually. Um, Ghost Shoot has actually now been captured by Greece. That is a little bit of a pain in the neck, but it was bound to happen. It's actually a city that I tried to capture at one point very early on. Never really managed to do it. However, I don't really want to go to war with Greece at this point, so we'll just kind of let them get on with it if you remember this is the reason that we did start the war between greece and the shoshone we wanted them to keep each other busy so they'd leave us alone and hopefully we'd be able to crack on and get a victory by other means and there was always the risk that one of them was going to get a little bit fat by gobbling up the other one but we will see how it turns out in the end so, Mr. Battleship, you are going to come out here. You're going to sit there and look very, very menacing. Uh, I still have an awful lot of money. I could go ahead and purchase something else, and I might actually buy a submarine because uh, submarines are really, really nice. So we'll get a submarine, and we'll part that out here too. A unit needs orders. Okay, we are going to put our great engineer to sleep for the time being. We can't really do an awful lot with him. Lots of cargo ships to micromanage. Um... Where were you going before? Can't actually see where you... Oh, you were going to go shoot and go shoot no longer exists. That's why we have you. I see. It would be nice, though, if there was an option where you could say to cargo ships, just keep running the same route and automatically renewing until such point where you can't run that route any longer. But yeah, it was going to go shoot and obviously go shoot now doesn't uh, belong to the Shoshone anymore. So that's why that automatically... Um, popped over right now we have some problems because pocatello has made peace with alexander and that isn't particularly good i mean i'll say one thing the war went on for a long time i definitely got my money's worth from starting that battle um saying that it still looks like the shoshone are second in the scores so it's not all terrible for them once we get the uh, christo redentor built assuming that we do ah oh wow 
It was actually um, Morocco that got the gold. Well, I'm glad that it wasn't Greece anyway. Morocco... Morocco isn't all that bad. Uh, so we did get the silver medal. If we just actually have a look at the culture. Morocco... Yeah, Morocco have now got 44. Um, but saying that, Morocco don't have a ideology at the moment either. How influential are Morocco with everybody? They're exotic with me and they are rising slowly. My culture is very, very low. This is, the, this is the main problem I've got of just being a single city. And this is why it's even more important to get the Cristo Redentor built as quickly as possible. So what we are going to do is we are going to go into Cristo Redentor. And because and this probably is a waste of, a, um, of an engineer, to be honest. Let's have a quick look. Are we due to get any other wonders... That we would really like to rush build. Potentially Neuschwanstein. But there again it's going to be 8 turns before we can even do that. So I think I'm literally just going to rush build Krista Redentor. It may be a little bit of a waste but getting the extra culture from that is going to be fantastic. Um, you guys are going to... Might as well continue to stock home. Gandhi is building up an army with naval escorts for a sneak attack on another civilization. Well, if you're coming after me, Gandhi, by all means, bring it. Because I am just going to start purchasing lots of battleships. And we're not going to bother with bombers or anything. Might be nice to actually get the um, 15 XP for all units. Is not bad. Let's buy the barracks because why not? We have money. Let's buy all the things. Because we could then go ahead and buy the armory. And we could then go ahead and buy the castle. And that spent all of our money. But, you know, what ho. Um, okay, let's go on to the next turn in that case. I'm a little bit worried now that that war's finished. But we are about to... Um, well, I say about to. We've got about 18 turns. We will be embargoing Greece. Um... No, I don't want an embassy with you, because I think that actually just affects the culture. Does it affect the culture? I can never remember. Influenced by player. Uh, open borders, shared religions. Propaganda. Different ideologies. Yeah, so it won't make an awful lot of difference. But that's fine. Morocco's denouncing Greece. I still keep forgetting to check the uh, ideologies. Yeah, we still have dissidents, but I mean, we like I said, we can tank that. We have plenty of happiness. Sweden has dissidents, but they're still in positive happiness. Mongolia does as well. Um, the Shoshone, even though they have a different ideology to Greece, they're still actually in the positives, so it's not too bad. Crystal Redentor has built, which is nice. It gives us five extra culture per turn, and it also means, well, five extra base culture per turn. And it also means the cost of adopting new policies is reduced by 10%, which also counts towards um, ideological tenants as well. Uh, Alexander is building up an army with naval escorts for a sneak attack against another civilization. Yeah, I wonder where that's coming for. Um, I mean, he can't be sneaking up against Pocatello because Pocatello is currently... Um, he has a, a peace treaty. Choose production. Let us go ahead and get the heroic epic built then for another culture and another great works of writing slots. Um, then we'll start thinking about getting some great war bombers out and things like that. I'm actually starting to get a little bit worried now. I mean, I think, to be honest, if Greece did attack, I think we would be okay. I think we'd be able to weather the storm. Doesn't mean I want them to attack, though. I'm uh, potentially a problem of losing an awful lot of um, trade routes if he should attack. However, we could potentially go ahead and wipe out a few of his cities. It would be nice possibly to get rid of Rhodes and Halicarnassus. And by get rid of, I mean just literally burn them to the ground. And possibly get rid of Ghost Shoot as well. Oh, actually, I could liberate that and give it back to the Shoshone. Um, oh, Alexander embarked a force 
Currently sailing towards the Swedish city of Uppsala to launch a surprise sneak attack. I better give him some warning. Ah, welcome. So hopefully you're going to be able to deal with that. Where is that city? Uppsala, he's going for that one, is he? Well, at least if he's going for Sweden, he's not going for me. I suppose that's one thing. Um, so we've got the heroic epic. Let us go for... We still don't need the Colosseum. The Arsenal would give our city a lot more hit points. Military Academy would give us more XP. Um, but let, yeah, let's let's start building on that Military Academy, actually. We've got some decent money now. Let's go ahead and purchase ourselves um, another battleship. Because battleships are hardcore. And now we get instant promotion. So we can give them um, additional car, um, targeting against naval units. And we could give them plus one movement, which would be nice. Or we could give them plus two combat strength against naval. Let's give them that. So it's a shame I didn't do that before I built these other units, but never mind. It just means we don't have to have as many units, and the units that we've got are going to be a little better suited at dealing with any attacks. So 21 turns until Venice grows again. It's over 30 population now. This is fast becoming one of the largest cities I've ever had in any game. I don't usually build cities particularly tall. And it's often very difficult to get one city this tall without happiness problems. But when you've only got a single city, then that doesn't really become such an issue. So I'm just going to have a look at, quick look at the tile management at the end of this turn as well. I'm surprised building Crystal Redentor didn't actually give me enough points to jump up above India there. Um, railroad is now completed. That's fantastic because our research ended with Geng Genghis Khan. We do need to get another research agreement up and running them. So let's go in. City-states still all allied with. Genghis Khan. Trade. Research agreement. Propose. What would make it work? Two aluminium and ten gold for 30 turns. Yeah, I can, um, I can live with that. It's worth it for the science, which puts us a little bit closer to atomic theory. Um... Can we purchase anything? No, we don't need to purchase anything. So I think we're all good for now. Let's, oh, yes, yeah, I was going to look at the tiles, although I think we're probably working all of the tiles that it is sensible to work. So there's probably not an awful lot of point doing anything. It's taken those, that worker an awfully long time to build that trading post. Seems like it's taken it longer than five turns. Cargo ship, you might as well continue on to Mus and Carney. And what's the price of a great engineer now? 2,500 is an awful lot. So if that's the case, let's start getting great scientists because they are a lot cheaper. And we have got the rationalism finisher, so we might as well do that. Another battleship, you are going to come out here as a little bit of a show of force. I've certainly got the money to afford maintenance for a rather large navy at this point. I don't have any intention of attacking, but... I still think that I might end up being attacked, so we do have to be somewhat careful with what we do. So I've still got nine aluminium left, even though I'm trading two with Mongolia. Don't really want open borders with you, to be honest, so I'm going to refuse at this point. Not that we're necessarily heading towards a culture of victory, although it would be nice if we could do so. Uh, I do need to keep periodically checking to see if anyone else has any... Um, artifacts that we can trade. I do need to get another two cargo routes going now as well. We're going to have a stupidly high number of cargo routes going. And also, we could probably do with... Oh, Greece now an ally of Geneva. Interesting. Um, we could also, possibly... Hmm, just trying to think about this. Right, let's do one thing at a time. Um... Swap great works. Okay, nobody has... Oh, hang on. You have a classical era artifact. And what do I have? A renaissance era and a classical era. So if I swap this Shoshone statue... So swap great works. I want to swap this renaissance Shoshone statue for that. Swap. 
And now I get plus two. Good, that's helped a little bit. I've still got quite a few great work slots that I haven't been using. That was what I wanted to do. Is consider, is it worth putting any specialists into things like the Writers Guild and the Musicians Guild and the Artists Guild? Because it's going to be quite a while before I actually get... I think great artists. Let's do them one at a time. Let's put a person or two in the Artists Guild to speed that up. 70 turns until we grow. 30 turns until we grow. 19 turns until we grow. Yeah. We are starting to get to the point now where a lot of the tiles we're working aren't providing us with a huge amount of food. But I don't think we're really going to have much scope to grow much more quickly. And I'd rather keep working that tile for the science. So let's just have one person in there for now. Let's choose our production. Now we can go for the Kremlin, which would give us plus one culture. And plus 50% production when building armor units would give us a free social policy. But Neuschwinstein would give us four culture and another great merchant point. Uh, it would also give us additional culture for castles as well. And we do have a castle here. So let us get Neuschwinstein built. Not sure how that's going to work because it's going to technically be built on the same mountain as Machu Picchu. Um, let's have a look what we've got going on here. Uh, right. Um... Geneva, I'm not sure that I can do about that much about that right now. Uh, research agreement with Sweden. And uh, friendship with Mongolia. So let's go and sort that out. Mongolia, where are you? There you are. Um, discuss declaration of friendship. I oh, am yeah, brilliant. And we've already got a trade agreement going with him. Uh, research agreement. Do we have enough... Research agreement. Propose. Unacceptable. What will make this work? 25 gold, 1 gold per turn. I don't want to give you my oil. 25 gold and 1 gold per turn I can live with. I can even live with the open borders. Yep, fine. Brilliant. That's another research agreement. Let's have another quick look at the tech tree here. Is it worth getting anything else queued up? We're now working on atomic theory. Then we are going into ecology after that. That will allow us to get the solar plant, which will increase our production. Though I might also go for Sydney Opera House, because that will give us a free social policy and 50% extra culture in the city. That's actually quite important to get. Um, after that, what should we necessarily go for? What would be ideal for us? Do we just start going straight into rocket rocketry so we can work on the Apollo program? Or do we start trying to get anything else that could be useful? Um, potentially getting... Uh, radar first would be ideal because it would allow us to get better planes if we are attacked it would also mean we could get airports which would help us with some additional tourism output computers could be nice gunships are very very good defensive unit though it would be eating into a lot of our aluminium which i don't really want to do so i think we might go ecology and put out sydney opera house first and then work on i mean we can always purchase the solar plant and we could also purchase the um recycling center as well if we wanted to but it would only give us it's three gold for two two aluminium essentially so it's not terrible but it's three gold per turn for two aluminium um but we could essentially do that but we'll buy the solar plant we'll build sydney opera house and then i think what we will do is go into radar so we can get an airport it doesn't mean we have to go through ballistics first which is a bit of a pain in the hoop but then we will go into rocketry get the apollo program sorted and then we can start working on spaceship parts although i would have liked to have gone into robotics a lot of people ignore robotics if they're going for a science victory because you don't directly need robotics for the early parts because you can get things like the SS booster and the SS cockpit from advanced ballistics and satellites. However, if you go robotics first, you can actually get a spaceship factory which gives you an extra 50% uh, production when building spaceship parts. So it's often worth going into robotics early. You will need robotics anyway because you need robotics in order to get nanotechs which you need for the stasis chamber. And... Uh, um, it would also be nice as well if we could get the giant death robots because you don't ever usually get towards uh, a point in the game where you where the game lasts long enough where you can use giant death robots. I've only ever used them once, which is one of my very early games against China. Um, well, I say against China. They were my direct competition. They were my big neighbour. I can't remember who it was I was playing as. 
But like I said, it was one of my very early games and I was playing on a low difficulty. And the game actually went on long enough uh, and I managed to pump out enough science. But I definitely think that's where we are going to go. And then maybe getting into National Visitor Centre could be a thing. I'm still not 100% decided on exactly which route I'm going to try and take to a... Uh, to a victory here to be quite honest robotics is also nice of course because it would give us missile cruisers although destroyers would be nice to have now somebody remind me where we get destroyers because i can never remember because i'm certain i haven't got them yet um i'm obviously missing something modern armor nuclear missiles Oh, combustion. So we, we'll get destroyers anyway because we... Well, we don't need combustion to go into radar. Uh, but we'll do all that. We'll get all that queued up. Then we'll probably end up going back into combustion. And then oh, we'll see where it ends up from there because I'm not too sure at the moment. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do for this turn and also for this video. We are going to have to buy another couple of cargo ships. But at the moment, I think things are going relatively well. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying the One City Challenge. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then... Goodbye for now.